Let's talk about these Xbox leaks that went live today, dude. Like, oh my God. The amount of stuff that has went out that even Phil Spencer replied to on Twitter, which is just crazy. Basically, like the entire future plan of Xbox was leaked out today and the past plans. And so you can kind of look back and go like, ah, oh, this is what they really were doing. Microsoft leaked its own Xbox documents, court says. <laughs> Microsoft is apparently to blame for the documents that are revealed things like Xbox Series X redesign. Let's, let's check out the console here. We can literally just like, this is the, the, the prototype design of the next Xbox Series X console. This is Microsoft's new diskless Xbox X Series X design with a lift to wake controller interesting they have a new controller coming in as well oh, they try to say that five times fa fast disc list disc i can't even say it once dude jesus christ disc less xbox series x design like i'm like i'm it's, i have to slow my speech down just to say that properly so it's project brooklyn xbox series x refresh the most powerful xbox ever now adorably all digital brooklyn will deliver 4k gen 9 console gaming with more internal storage faster wi-fi reduced power a more immersive controller and a beautiful redesign that elevates all the digital experience of the xbox ecosystem giving fans more of what they love beautiful and innovative new design more internal storage for games two terabytes with this one i think currently right now it has like 500 gigs or maybe one terabyte if i can't remember so either way again like a pretty sizable increase when it comes to the storage for an xbox console uh more internal storage there's a usb-c front port with uh power dis delivery which is amazing you can see that right there all new more immersive controller we'll talk about that in a minute here as well same gear price of 499 they're basically were like well instead of like lowering the price point we just make like a new one i'm sure like the old xbox series x consoles would be dropped then in price assumingly meaning that instead of going for about 500 bucks then it would be probably like maybe 300 maybe just look maybe drop 100 bucks make it 400 or something like that wi-fi 6e ooh that's good 6e is like the the new fat high speed wi-fi so that's awesome uh bluetooth 5.2 radio for improved accessory experience uh reduce psu by 15 percent, so it's less power demanding which is awesome you lower your electrical bill by like three cents there you go low power standby mode is 20 percent. oh gosh does that mean that we're gonna see like fox news get mad saying like microsoft is going green because they have a standby mode <laughs> to save energy <laughs> anyways 100 percent recyclable packaging which is nice like good on them um but that sounds awesome dude like yeah an xbox series x that's just better we're talking about the xbox leaks there is another major leak a brand new controller coming in because you know we have the regular controller you got the elite controller this one's supposed to fit in the middle of that this is is the, the sense controller uh sebel i guess is what they call it up here the new xbox controller the world's best controller according to xbox <laughs> now playing on a screen near you so play anywhere it says xbox wireless 2 so it's a wireless controller which is gonna be awesome uh direct to cloud bluetooth as a bluetooth controller which is huge i like that a lot makes it so you can play with your phone and stuff like that so the things are supposed to be kind of like fun on multiple devices with an xbox branded controller that's not a, like a series s or, or the elite controller or whatever seamless pair and switch like me mean like the switch actually probably could work uh new mobile app feature see pair of devices in cloud manage device and accessories immersion feel the game <laughs> Precision haptic feedback, VCA haptic double S speakers. So basically you're just making it into a PlayStation controller. <laughs> Accelerometer, uh, quieter buttons and thumbsticks, which actually that's kind of nice. I think the accelerometer makes it so it's sensitive. So when you pick it up, it actually like senses you picked it up. So I guess it ties in with what we read about the Xbox Series X, or at least the new version of that's coming out later, that you just pick up the controller and it just turns on your Xbox and your controller, which is like, yeah, that's awesome. Durable, durable and reliable. We'll see how durable and reliable this controller is because uh, that's definitely one thing Xbox controllers are not known for. How many times do you see people tweet out like, oh, my fifth Elite controller. Hopefully this one stays together. Like I got the Halo Infinite 
uh, Elite controller. I got it for like a Christmas gift. And then like before the end of the year, the left bumper stopped working. Like I've been seeing somebody talk about the left bumper just being busted, especially when playing Halo and Bumper Jumper. Like, yeah, it makes the controller useless. Uh, approachability, engage and delay. Left to wake. Yeah, left to wake technology mixed in with this. Kind of like the idea with the grip. It's kind of an interesting design, honestly. The smoothness of it. Familiar Xbox feel. Same ergonomic as Merlin. I'm assuming that's probably the... So this is kind of seeming like it's basically giving you haptic feedbacks right here. Lift to wake. So when you pick it up, it turns on. Turns on your Xbox as well. New Bluetooth, wireless capabilities and things like that. You can pair with your phone really easily. So this is going to be actually like a controller you might actually want to like actually pick up if you're the kind of person who like uses mobile devices when it comes to playing your games i might actually pick this up because uh through work so yeah, oh here we got some more information about the whole thing here uh the new controller codename sebel is that pronounced correctly is set to be announced early next year for 69.99 so a little more than your regular controller but it does come with some new features in there uh, it's not clear if modular simply means uh the joystick tops can be swapped like like an Xbox Elite game pads or something fancier like the modules on a Sony's DualSense Edge. So this is, does this, does this mean they're gonna be like the Series X and the Series S are gonna be like the same size then? That's gonna be crazy. Oh my God, even the timelines got released, dudes. Oh my God, the timelines. Like, when I said this was like a massive leak, like the leakiest of leaks, like a waterfall, straight waterfall of leaks, dude. We're bathing in the Xbox leaks right now. Here's a timetable that was released of these launches too. So saying right here, this is like going to be Sybil uh, announced in FY 24Q4. So that'd be, so if you guys don't know, uh, June is when the year, financial year resets for Microsoft, right? So when it becomes, so after June, once you hit July, you get into FY 25. So right now we're in at fiscal year 24 right now, even though it's 2023 because Microsoft's like new year starts in July. Uh, so we're gonna get this new controller announcement. Oh, it looks like actually in May is where it will launch. So the, the announcement will probably come probably in spring, probably around March or something like that. Or you know what they actually could do? If Xbox wants to do this again, wasn't it like back in February when Xbox did a Xbox Direct thing, right? And then they had, they, low-key uh shadow launch hi-fi rush that's when i think we could see it if they decide to do a simple similar type of thing which would be really awesome that'd be a great way to, the right way to announce it and that would be q4 speculation hats coming on right here you know after years of experience in covering gaming news i started recognizing patterns <laughs> And so the launch is going to be at the end of May, hopefully. Uh, Xbox Gaming Beat. So this is going to be obviously when we get the big announcement. So like basically the Xbox version of E3 happening right here. Uh, surprised we won't see anything before that. It was just in a different PowerPoint slide that didn't get leaked out or something. Uh, Mid-gen console announced. Elwood and Brooklyn announced simultaneously. What the heck is that? What is Elwood? Is that got like an Xbox Series S? Thing. Oh yeah, so codename Elwood Xbox Series S Lite Refresh. So maybe just a smaller version, maybe a little upgrade here and there, but same the har same hardware or something like that will likely be the case when it comes to the Elwood. So just like a complete console refresh, which is kind of cool. My right, dudes, this is just nutty. All right, here we go. We have the release dates up for your hair. So we got the June reveal of everything towards the end of September or sorry, end of August of 2024. Elwood one terabyte launch for $399. And then later on, at the end of October, you get the Brooklyn, which is the new Xbox Series X launching for $499. 60 day, 60 plus day separation between launches enables dialogue and difference between audiences. That's good. You have to kind of separate things out so there's no confusion. Because Xbox, like, we don't need a Wii U experience happening with this whole thing because our console situation is already confusing enough. Because <laughs> not only are you going to have the Xbox Series X, the Xbox Series S, you're going to have the new Xbox Series X, like Slim, basically. And then the Xbox Series S Slim as well. So you're going to have like four consoles for people to jump in and jump into the Xbox platform, which is like, yeah, that's a lot. Yeah, I don't see anything about what a price drop would be for the original Xbox Series X, which probably I would just pick that up then, honestly. Oh my God, <laughs> there's more leaks in this whole thing. <laughs> So basically the entire roadmap to 2030 was leaked out right here, <laughs> right here. 
roadmap to 2030. Oh, it's tough to read that, but it's something about like gold, Xbox is gold, get into the mobile market and earn like 2.6 billion there, earn 1.4 billion through like what advertising, 100 million Game Pass members is what they're looking to do as well. Like sheesh. So you can't see the uh, path to leadership in gaming right here. What they want to do, their ownership of Xbox Game Pass subscribers right here, getting up into the 100 million people they want signed up with this entire program, which is nutty. And that's not it. We got concrete information about when Elder Scrolls 6 is going to release. You know, remember that little game that was announced back in 2018 and I never heard anything about it since? Well, the Elder Scrolls 6 will skip PlayStation 5 and isn't coming until at least 2026. This is one of the internal documents as well. It got leaked out. I made a short about this on the channel. If you guys ever were curious about keeping up with like short form, little bite sized bits of content, I post up a lot on the channel here. But this is crazy right here. So this is Microsoft's approach following acquisitions since 2018, showcasing all the new Bethesda titles and stuff like that, that they acquired. You can see how Starfield was just never going to come to PlayStation. But you can see right here, Elder Scrolls 6 release on PlayStation. Nah, that ain't happening. It's not a multiplayer, no cross platform. The release date though, ex expected 2026 or later. And given how fast the lightning speed Bethesda makes their games at, uh, I have a feeling it's going to be later than 2026. I think I saw another one too saying there's going to be Starfield DLC coming in as well, which is kind of like, yeah, that's expected, right? Like Xbox just like the, the game was given away, basically. <laughs> even if the game was given away so much that like even Phil Spencer hit up Twitter to respond to this whole thing, which I find just incredible. That like, like, you know, that's how big of a leak this whole thing is when Phil Spencer's like, okay, I gotta hit up Twitter and let the people know what's going on with this whole thing. Uh, this is what he had to say. If we've seen the conversation around old emails and documents, there was another document saying that Phil Spencer was considering buying Nintendo, <laughs> which is like, bro, okay, easy, easy with the wallet there, man. Uh, it is hard to see our team's work shared in this way because so much has changed and there's so much to be excited about right now and in the future. We will share the real plans when we are ready. Yeah, but those old plans kind of came to fruition, like especially like that whole 2018 acquisition plan right there. Like that basically is what happened. And like, yeah, we assumed that there'd be a console refresh. There has been a, a console refresh since the Xbox series or Xbox 360 consoles. There's been a console refresh. So that was going to happen as well. So like, honestly, like even though it's news, it's not really news. <laughs> Cause like, yeah, it was like, we knew this, like this was going to happen. This is expected. You've done this the last two comps, you know, uh, you did this with the Xbox one consoles and you did it again. You're doing similar kind of stuff with this one. Like you, yeah, you, you did this with 360 consoles. You did this with the, the one console. Like, yeah, you do this again with the series consoles like that. That would just make sense. 